all right guys um welcome to today's tutorial uh today i'll be teaching you how to use Corel draw to uh, retouch your image to retouch your image okay so please if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel please hit this subscription button down below the red icon hit it and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of my latest video i release my video every friday so hit the notification bell subscribe to my youtube channel to be reminded and to be at a lot of my latest video so please um don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you find this video helpful so please hit the thumbs up button subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, hit the notification bell below thank you very much let's dive in all right guys um this is how it goes so i'm going to duplicate this picture now ctrl d uh, keyboard okay i want to change the size of this layout this workspace to 7 by 4 7 by 4 so that we can view the two picture very well 7 by 4 so let's do this one then we use the length of this increase length to reduce it to 4 oh sorry okay resize it right then duplicate so i want to work on this one why we use this one as before then this one will be our after so we're going to work on this one now the first thing to do here to be able to make this picture sharper than this one i'm going to be working on the background and the picture itself okay so what we need to do now is to trace this picture out of this background using Corel X7. Now a lot of people will be asking, uh, is it possible to trace picture out of background? You no, know, in Corel X7 that is in Photoshop. Uh, this video is going to show you that it's true, that you can do it, it's possible. Okay, so I'm going to trace this picture out of this background and uh, we we'll, we we'll refine, retune this background, we we'll retune the picture, make it beautiful. Okay, what we need to do now is to retrace to trace this picture out. So we come to this tool here. You come to your uh, freehand tool. Click, you select your uh, beast spline. Okay, select your beast spline. So we auto trace now. So we're going to trace now. Sorry about that. All right. Just watch me carefully even as I trace. So I'm tracing. So I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of rushing because of the tutorial. So when you're doing yours, you just take your time to trace. Take your time to trace beautifully. Okay. Take your time to trace. So I'm kind of rushing it so that I won't take a lot of time. So when you are practicing yours, you take your time to trace the picture. So you have it, get it perfectly. All right, that's it. We change the uh, the size, the outline. That is this black outline change to hairline to make it tiny. Okay. Sorry, excuse me. So after you, the next thing you need to do now is to uh, you hold you hold your shift key on your keyboard, you click the background, and you come to this third one here, this intercept, click it, okay, to cut out the image. So we've already cut out the image, you can see. 
Ok, Ctrl Z. Ctrl Z. So the next thing to do now is to cut out this cloud. Okay, because I'm going to edit this cloud, this image, and this background separately. So I'm going to cut out this cloud. Use the same tool to cut out the cloud. So we're going to start from this place. So just watch me carefully. Sorry. So you can come straight to this place because you already cut out the image. Do not affect the image. Okay, you need to the same. And then, then you hold your shift or your keyboard, just then you cut it out. Ready, cut out. Ah, that's it. So, since we've cut out uh, all we need, just take it on the other side. Now, the next thing to do now is to refine. Okay. So refine. First of all, I'm going to touch the the uh, the cloud. Now where you need to come to, you come to your bitmap, your bitmap. Okay. Then you come to image adjustment, a lab, image adjustment lab. Now, if you see all these things here, you have temperature, tint, saturation, brightness, contrast, highlight, shadow, mid tone. Okay, these are what you use to reduce temperature, to reduce the the, the saturation. The brightness and everything of your picture of your image so this, we are going to be using all these things okay and the first thing i want to do here is i want to uh make the temperature cool okay you can see this cloud the temperature of the cloud is always cool okay i want to make it cool so we, we increase the temperature okay we increase the temperature all right so i'll be seeing this way Sorry. So we increase the temperature. Sorry, let me remove this. Uh, okay. All right. We increase the temperature. So one, once you click anything here, the thing will load here. Okay, load here. Now next thing to do is to reduce the shadow. Okay, make it darker. Then the mid tune is um. Uh, the 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 difference between okay the mid when we say the shadow is the dark part of the image okay then the mid tune is the other side let's say this place is the shadow part the mid tune is this place okay but the highlight is the middle the difference between the shadow and the mid tune is the highlight which is this place okay so but we are working on this image we are working on this cloud here. So after increasing the temperature, make it more blue, cool. So increase the brightness a little. Okay. Then increase the mid too. Alright. I like it too. Then more contrast. Okay. Increase the little. Use the darkness. To, okay. There, hit the okay. Let's see the outcome. All right. So the next thing to do here is click on it again. Come to your big man. You come to your camera. Camera. Then enter. You click your time machine. Time machine. Okay. This is what we need that's what you need okay you can see now if i control z you just see the different if i control z see the common one then see the new one so it's getting better now the next thing to work on we we'll work on this cloud the next thing to work on is to work on the background okay the background which is this place 
So you come to your, um, your image adjustment lab again. Okay, make it more blue because of the truck there. Of this truck. Okay, temperature cooler of the truck. Yeah, reduce the shadow. Okay, yeah, increase the mid. Yeah, increase the allies more trust all right then uh let's mm -hmm. all right click your okay see the ad come see the ad come okay that's it so next thing to do come to your camera again come to your time machine okay make it more sharper see if i if i take it back okay you see the former one you see the new one so that's that's the beauty of that time machine okay now i believe we've worked on the uh the the, the background okay now the next thing to work on that is the image the image itself the image now we're going to be careful not to change the color you can see it's red here okay we don't need this so we're going to be careful to blend the image with this image not too red but cool okay so what i need to, what we need to do is uh we come to our effect we go to our adjust we come straight to uh brightness contrast and intensity Okay, brightness, contrast, intensity. Now I'm going to, to reset it. Okay. Now, this is it. So, the first thing to do here is I'm going to reduce the brightness. Okay. Don't worry, I'll come to that. I'll change brightness. I'll increase the contrast. the contrast a little okay the intensity all right so i guess i'm okay with that for the now there go to your effect again adjustments come to your your sample your sample target balance okay I'm going to reset. All right. How does this work? You click this your this two here. This one's wear black. Whenever there's black in the image, you click it with this, this with the white, and this with any other color place you want to add to make the color blend. So you click this arrow here. You come look for anywhere that is black in the image. So the air is black. Click it. Okay. Then you come to this white. Click it, you click it again. Okay, look for whatever is white. Okay, this place is white in the image. You click it. Okay, now the next one is uh, to choose any other part of the image that you want. Okay, what I want is uh, I want this color to come out very well. So I'll click this color. Okay. Now you don't see the difference now until I click Ctrl Z. Okay, if you come back, you see the difference. You see the difference? Okay, not that much, but it's added to it. So the next thing to do here now, so I guess we are, we are, we are getting closer. Now, if you see very well, look very closely, you see that the image is kind of dark a little. Okay, so I'm going to increase the brightness. The tune. So you come to the effect, come to adjust, come to tune curve. Okay, tune curve. So we're going to increase the brightness from the from the head. So so you adjust a little. I'm going to adjust. So that's it. So so far so good. You are able to see that there's a different, there's a difference between this image here and this image here. 
all with the work of Kure X7. Okay, guys. So there, there's 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 more to do. You can play around with your uh with everything here. Yeah? You can play around with your bitmat everything here. Yeah? If you want to add more color to you, you want to, to your taste to your satisfaction, you can play around play around with your uh, the temperature, the tint, the saturation, the brightness, the contrast, the highlight, shadow, and mid zoom. Okay. You say you want to add other effects, you can play around with this effect here. Okay, to help you get the taste you want. You can change every color, you can change the color of the background to black, to any whatever color you want. You know, you can play around with it here. But so far, so good, guys. This is how you use Corey X7 uh, to fine tune your picture to the, to the taste you want. Okay, let me raise one secret to you. Now, if you are doing your design, you're doing your work, uh, whatever work you are doing, make sure the image. The image, the central of attraction is more saturated than the background. Okay, don't allow your background to be more saturated than, than, your, than, your, than your image. So if you are designing for anybody, to your, for your clients, make sure the image is more saturated than the background. Okay, so if you can see, because I'm I'm, I'm trying to give you the the beauty of Core X7, the difference between how to find your image. Everything is blending, everything is properly well arranged. Okay, so you can see. So so far, so good. You can see that there's a difference between this one and this one. Okay, so guys, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit this subscription button below. And uh, if you if you stay down to this end of this video, I want to thank you very much, congratulations, uh, for staying for staying this far. And uh, please hit the thumbs up button if you find this video helpful. Please hit the notification bell to be alerted of my latest video. I release my video every Friday. Thank you very much. See you next Friday.